Okay, this is a Category 5 wire. This is the way it's wound. If you hold this with the orange to the left, and the brown will always be to the right, the blue and green will be opposite each other. Now this is one end. Here you see that the orange being on the left, now the blue is in front and the green is in the back. Okay. And I'll show you the components of a Category 6 uh, RJ45 connector. Okay, this is almost the same as a Cat5 connector, except more hollow inside. You can see in the side here. That is fancy depression right here. Holding it this way. Pins one on the left, pin eight is on the right. Okay, now here's a piece we don't see with Cat5 RJ45 connectors. It's like a separator. And it looks pretty much the same on both sides except One side is tapered, the other side isn't. I think this is the tapered side, right? Let me get a little closer myself so I can see. See right in the middle here? I think this is the tapered side. Yeah, see it right in the middle is like uh, the two like on top and the bottom. This is wider. We want to push the wire through this end. I'll show you how we do that. Okay. Orange to the left, brown to the right. Slide that guy all the way down. Now we have the blue stick in the front. Green stick in the back. Like that. That lines us up pretty good. Then we separate them a little bit here. Okay, again with the orange on the left and the brown on the right. We take our blue wire, it's held by that one opening. Now you want to keep the white blue to the right and the solid blue to the left here. Okay, next, uh, I take the white and green and I sandwich the blue white between it. Here now we have the white green on the left and the solid green on the right. So we have white green blue, white, blue, and green. Okay, now we have the white orange on the left and the white brown on the right. The whites go first. So all together we have the white brown, uh, white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, and brown. Zoom in on here. On... Sometimes this focus is good, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. I'll show you that side. See, the white green is, and the white blue are held by those gaps in the middle. And the taper is on the wire, outside wire side. Now, this little doodad separates the wires and holds them. And if you look at the top, if I can get a detail here. Yeah, here we go. See how it's got eight little slots on the top side. The bottom is flat. No slots. Now we, we crimp those uh, connectors. Those pins are going to come through these slots and get into the wire. If you can't see too good, you're going to feel the bottom is flat and ridges on the top. Sounds like sharp right there. Sorry, I'm like on my two hands. I can can't do this and show it to you at the same time. Beautiful, clean fingers. Huh? See how that little cliff there is on the left hand side? It's on up. That's on the the cut side. Okay, that's how that goes on. Slide it right down there. This is where those uh, extra gaps come into play. See, the blue's allowed to separate. Now the green's actually got split right there. That's why you need the extra taper right in there where it's wider right there on the green. I'll cut that flush, I'll show you, and then we'll jam it into the connector. Okay, here we go. The 
white, orange, orange, the white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. That could be pushed on a little more, it's just, it'll happen when I push it into the connector. Now we push it into the RJ45. Okay, white, orange is on the left. So the tab on the bottom, looking into it that way. And this is the 568B color coordination. And you can see, get close enough with the camera here and hold it still enough. You might see the copper ends like right on the end there. Maybe you can see it, I can't. But that's in at least far enough. And then we we'll crimp it with the, uh, this isn't an ideal, this is a, uh, who makes this model here? Can't even see it. Sorry, but uh, it's not an ideal crimper. Okay. Is that piece right there in the bottom, straight in the center? And that pushes in, holds all the goodies in. You can see the white blue pulled to the front. The white orange, the white brown. And there's the green. See white blue's on the right there, flip it over. Green's on the left, white green's on the right, it should be. That is cat six. Supposedly get better bandwidth with those little separators on here. That's pushed in, and that's where it goes through the pins go through the wire and that little plastic doodad. That's a Cat 6 connector. Okay, and again, here's the other side, orange on the left. You see here the green is in the front and the blue is in the back. And then they'll always be opposite, and the brown will always be opposite with the orange. Now, if you wire this side the same as this side, it'll be a straight through Ethernet cable. But I'm going to show you how to make a crossover by just swapping some wires around. So, if I take this knife. Just rotate 90 degrees. My green is on the left, blue is on the right, which is correct. And here I'm going to have orange in the back and brown in the front. Brown is going to be in the middle, orange outside of the brown. And I'll show you how that's all together. Okay, here we have uh, our green on the left, blue on the right, brown in the front, orange in the back. We'll unwrap the brown, keep the white of the brown to the right. Okay. Now you have the white orange on the left and the orange on the right. Kind of like the green was on the blue. Okay, here we are before we put the uh, retainer on here, or whatever you call it. White, green, green. White, orange. Brown, white, brown, orange, white, blue, and blue. In that order. I trimmed it even with the, the organizer there. We'll stick that into a RJ45. There we go. Now this is a handshaking cable. Or what do you call? Not handshake cable. Crossover cable, Ethernet crossover cable. See the white green on the left? Here it's white orange. You use this for uh, hooking like two computers together via Ethernet or. Like I said, the port of a. Uh, one switch into the input of another switch, is that right? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'd be right. from your switch to your computer you would just use a straight one but that's how you make a crossover cable that's how you put on these cat 6 connectors